Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, this this uh, video is in the series of 100 hardest data sufficiency questions. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, okay, so uh, the question here is the data sufficiency question. Uh, now let's read through the question stem first. Uh, it says that A and B are integers, so that's a very important piece of information. So both of them are integers. Uh, and, the, and the question gives us uh, that square root of a cube minus a square minus b is equal to 7, uh, which means that a cube minus a square minus b is equal to 49, right? So this is what we have. Now the question is asking us the value of a, right? So nothing more can be concluded from this. Uh, so one thing that we can easily do is that we can actually take this as a square into a minus 1 minus b is equal to 49, right? So let's use statement one, which says a square minus a is equal to 12, uh, which means a into a minus one is equal to 12, right? So that's what we have. Uh, so from here, what we can do is, we can uh, just substitute a into a minus one uh, is equal to 12 into this particular equation. So this equation can be rewritten as a into a into a minus 1 minus b is equal to 49. So we can substitute this value here. So this becomes 12a minus b is equal to 49. Now let's get the value of a using this equation, which is a square minus a minus 12 is equal to 0. So this becomes a square minus 4a plus 3a minus 12 is equal to 0. So 4 times 3, 12. So I'm just splitting the middle term. So from here, I can easily see that a will either turn out to be 4 or a will either turn out to be negative 3, you know, if you just solve the quadratic equation. Uh, so, so a is 4 or a is negative 3. So substituting these two values here, let's see what is the value of b we get, uh, because we have to make sure that b is an integer as well. So b is nothing but 12a plus 49. So, so whatever value of a you substitute, b is going to turn out to be an integer which means that uh, you'll get two different values of a and b. Hence, you are not sure which value of a is correct. So that means this statement is insufficient. So when the statement a is insufficient, answer option out of answer option a, b, c, d, e, uh, a and d gets eliminated. Now let's look at statement two, which says b square minus b is two. Right, so this is what we have. Now we can easily get the value of b, that is b square minus b minus two is zero which means b square minus 2b min plus b minus 2 is 0. Just split in the middle term. So you have b, b minus 2 plus 1, b minus 2 is 0. So either b is 2 or b is negative 1. So what we can do is we can substitute these values of b back into this equation to try to get a value of a. So a square into a minus 1 can either be 48 or a square into a minus 1 can either be 51. Now remember, a is an integer, right? So definitely this has to be an integer. So now we have to use a little bit of trial and error here. Now you have to have a square of an integer multiplied by its previous term to get 51. Now how can you break 51 in terms of integers? You can either break it down as 17 into three, or you can either break it down as 51 into one. Clearly none of them is a square of an integer, so that gets eliminated. The only way this could work is if this is a square of an integer. Uh, so that means a could be one, but this doesn't satisfy that. This is not one less than a. So even this gets eliminated, right? So that means this is not possible. So that means this has to be possible. So you can clearly say that statement two is sufficient. Now for you to make this possible, you have to split 48. How can you split 48 into integers? Uh, so one has to be square of an integer, the other doesn't have to be. I could say 8 into 6, but none of them is a square, so that doesn't work. I could say 16 into 3, where this is a square. So I say a square is, a square is 16, that means a is 4. So with the something which really works out here, which is 4 square into 4 minus 1 is really 48, which means I have a value of a, I have a value of b which are both integers that's satisfying everything, which means statement two is sufficient and B is my answer. So uh, it was it was a tricky question, but uh, it was not that difficult, but uh, uh, it, it requires a, a bit of uh, 
it requires a bit of discipline on the scratch paper to actually make sure that everything gets done right and you don't confuse yourself right so i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you visit our website uh, which is uh, perfect-course.com there's no forum uh, uh, you can visit our Facebook page. You can uh, give us your valuable feedback at our email address. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching uh, this series for the hot, top 100 uh, or hardest 100 data sufficiency problems. Thank you very much.